Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today we are going to be looking at DMs that uh, make me want to never speak to anyone romantically ever again. So basically, we're going to be reading messages found on the Twitter account She Rates Dogs, run by the Princess Michaela Oakland. She's very funny and very beautiful, so do what you gotta do. Go ahead and follow her. I'll, you can do it now, as long as you come back. So the She Rates Dogs Twitter account is just a lovely assortment, an edible arrangement, if you will, of just terrible messages. Just god-awful. I mean, it's honestly just incredible. I think that scientists need to just attach some electrodes to these guys' heads and just look at the brain waves and see, you know, why... why do they do the things they do. So let's just get started, shall we? So the first one is a Snapchat message. You're a four. I drunk text you out of pity. So we're off to a good start. What's up? Just chillin'. What about you? Same. Haha. Ha. Just getting ready for the gym. What are you studying at U of A? Physiology. What are you studying? Tell me that's autocorrect. And finance. What's autocorrect? Your major is spelled psychology. Fun fact. Anyways, what do you like to do for fun? No, I'm studying physiology. Like, anatomy and physiology. Haha. Ha. I'm too tired to be awake now. You're smart, and you have absolutely stunning eyes. I almost didn't notice your boobs. Almost. But not quite. I mean... He really thought he did something with this. He really thought he was a modern-day Romeo. Oh, Juliet, where art thou, Juliet? I find thee so utterly stunning, I almost did not take notice of thy tits. Also, the part where he goes, Your major is spelled psychology, fun fact. Like, that is just so... Cr don't do that. I, it's just, it's condescending. It gives me the same type of vibe as like the kind of guy who raises his hand during class and is like, can I play devil's advocate for a second here? I just wonder what her response to the last text was. Like, what do you even say to that? You know, like, oh, thank you. Your hair looks so nice. I almost didn't notice your microscopic paint. I'm different. How so? I'm really in touch with my feelings and emotions. I've had my heart broken too many times. So you should be open to hooking up. So first of all, him being like, I'm different, I'm in touch with my emotions, I've had my heart broken. It's like, okay, me too. You're not, oh, like, you're not special. Like, if your opening message is, I am different, and I ask why, I'm gonna be expecting something substantial and not something stupid like this. I would want the next message to be like, I have 16 fingers and I cry tears of honey mustard or, you know, something that's actually different. Also, why should I be open to hooking up just because you got your heart broken? Like, buddy, we all have. Okay, the most you're getting is like a participation ribbon. Exactly. Are you gonna let me know if you're feeling me or not? Sure, I'll let you know. Now. Why can't I have an answer now? Just a little blindsided because up until 10 minutes ago, I thought you had a bae you were super into. You right. I do and I love her. I was just bored. So this guy doesn't deserve either of the women. None of the above. You don't love your girlfriend because if you did, you wouldn't be talking to other girls out of boredom. I mean, I guess we can give him props for being honest because he's kind of like exposing himself as trash. So it's less work for the rest of us. Like the garbage taking itself out, you know? Hey Chloe, sorry I haven't messaged you sooner. I just had some things I needed to get done. Where are you staying? Oh, no reply, but you can add a picture to your profile? That's mature of you. I was gonna invite you to come over for drinks at my villa, 128 steps from the beach, currently valued at three milli, complete with stone gym, tennis court, infinity pool, eight bedrooms and a basement with a pool table, ping pong table, and a 60 inch flat screen TV. Oh, and did I mention I own it fully at the age of 22? Never mind if you're lucky, you might get to be a maid in a place like this one day. Have a nice life. I feel like I need a bottle of water. Is this guy a, a real estate agent or something? Why is he sending such a detailed description of his place? Like at this point, he should just send some blueprints over. The amount of energy it must have took to craft that message. I mean, does he do this every time he gets rejected? I'm imagining him applying to jobs and you know, he gets a rejection email and he's just furiously typing back like, oh, no employment, that's mature of you. I was going to invite you to come over for drinks at my bill, 128 steps from the piece, currently valued at three million. 
No, but my dog is small like that. She's a Jack Russell boxer mix, which makes her insane, but super cuddly. If you don't respond, I'll put my dog down. I'm imagining this guy going to the vet and the vet being like, sir, why do you want to put your dog down? He's perfectly healthy. And then this dude, Zach, is just like, this chick wouldn't reply to my text. So bye bye, Fluffy. So this isn't actually a message, it's a Tinder bio. Work on a farm and like to play video game and love to shoot trap. Swipe right if you've known what trap is. Very racist. Relax, I only drive a 1500. Don't need a girl heavy like a Chevy, I already got a Chevy. I mean, this bio is really, really quite bad. It's like the level of bad where I think this is a social experiment. Also, what is shooting trap? I, does anyone know what that is? I feel like a middle-aged mom right now, like, oh, my son keeps saying things like, OMG, TTYL, LMAO, shooting trap. It's like, I feel like I need Duolingo to translate. Can any, can anyone, any of the other mothers of the PTA agree? Oh, I need wine. <laughs> Facebook, Facebook, Pinterest, blah, blah, blah. Also, the highlight of the entire bio is just the snippet that says, very racist. It's a shame he's racist. Maybe otherwise I would have had a chance. I've always wanted my Prince Charming to shoot trap. You look depressed. Damn, what gave it away? Like, everything about you. Your face, your body, the words in your bio, your choice of apparel, the way you smile. Okay, well, thank you for that, John. What a great way to start a conversation. Just, you look depressed. I mean, he matched with this girl, so I'm imagining him just swiping right and being like, this chick looks super depressed. I've got to tell her. And then he goes on to list all those things like the first message would have sufficed. Just saying like everything about you. You know, that encapsulates everything about her. You don't need to go on to list everything. What if he just kept going like your toenails, your belly button, your nostrils, your kidneys, your appendix, your armpit. Hey. 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 What you think? Hi, sorry, I, I don't want to hang out. Okay. I'm not talking to anyone. I, I am. Okay. Don't get why you don't talk. Hey, how you been? Hey. Hey, I have a boyfriend. I didn't even mean to text you. Okay. I... If I had a dollar for every ounce of desperation this guy has, I mean, the Kardashians would be my maids. I'm sorry, but how can you not get the hint? Like at that point, at that point you, you have to have the hint and you're just purposely ignoring it. If you text her, hey, three times in a row, I mean, buddy, I'm sorry to break it to you, but the feeling I get is that she's not head over heels. Some people are really bad at handling rejection. I pride myself on being pretty good at handling rejection. Um, I've had a lot of practice. It's okay. It's a little awkward cuddling him in boxers. Why, LMAO? LOL. He's a guy. I'm a guy. IDK. He's your dog. Listen, Tyler, as long as you say no homo first, I think you'll be okay. One time I cuddled with a girl dog and I forgot to say no homo and then before I knew it, the lesbian gods were knocking at my door and saying, you know, you are one of us now, and Haley Kiyoko played in the background. They gave me a, a, a Kristen Stewart poster, a rolled up Kristen Stewart poster, and they, they knighted me with it. You are now... gay. Can you imagine that happening? Someone all of a sudden just coming to your door and appointing you homosexual, you turn around to your husband in the kitchen, you're like, ah, I guess I'm a lesbian now. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Just sitting here. Safe in the knowledge that there are only two genders. You look like that albino in the Matrix. I mean, I don't, I don't really even know what to say for this one. What's up, bro? Welcome to the journey of an app that is humbly known as Tinder. We both know why you're here, and to be blunt, I'm the cesspool of pleasure you've been waiting for. I've once been told on this app that I am racist against females, so take that for what it's worth. Back to the Future's a wicked neat movie. If you have an Apple Watch, mad respect, bro. I'm very lonely. I mean, this bio is just... You know, it's, li it's like I'm at a buffet, and someone just threw a whole bunch of random food on my plate that doesn't go together. Yeah, I just... I wonder... 
I wonder why he did this. Okay, well that's all I have for you guys today. I don't think I can read any more. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Um, have a great day. If you haven't eaten, eat something. If you haven't drink water today, drink water. Um, okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you, until next time.